In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a WhatsApp campaign with Brevo. Initially, we will take a quick overview of the contact section because we first need some contacts to whom we will send WhatsApp messages. Next, we will set up an example WhatsApp campaign. Okay, the first thing is that you need to have a Brevo account. If you don't have a Brevo account yet, you can easily set up a free Brevo account. In the description of this video, there is a link to our tutorial on how to create a free Brevo account. There is also our link to Brevo, which you can click to open Brevo website and then create an account. We would greatly appreciate it if you use this link as it can provide us with a commission if you later decide to upgrade a paid plan at no additional cost to you. Okay, so let's start by going to the contact section. Here you can see your contact database, so make sure that your contact list has also their mobile or WhatsApp number. Okay, so if you want to add your contact, just click create a contact and fill out this information. So don't forget, again, the SMS and then their WhatsApp number because that's where you're going to send your campaigns, okay? And then after that, after filling out all this information, just click create afterwards. Now, let's say you don't want to add your contacts one by one because it will take a lot of time. So you can also opt for import contacts. Okay, just click that and then take advantage of .csv, Excel, or .file if you have from your computer because you can just upload it here and then Brevo will just detect or generate those information. Okay, and then you may also opt for copy or paste option. Again, just make sure that all the information that you need, especially their number, has been added, okay, on that list. We also have here a list, okay? So we have here different lists that you can add and you may group or sort out those contacts under a specific list. Like for example, I have here subscribers list, also have here prospect list, okay? So basically, it's everything or any type of uh, specific interests or similarities that those contacts have, okay? So we also have here segments as well. Segments are groups made based on specific criteria. They can help in sending more targeted and relevant communication to each group. When it comes to collecting data of contacts, there is the option to use a form. Here in Bravo, you can create a sign-up form, choose what fields will be included in that form, adjust the design of the form, and then share it via link or embed it on your website. So when someone fills out and submits such a form, his or her data will be added to the previously selected list in Bravo. Okay, so let's proceed to creating a WhatsApp campaign. To do this, go to the campaign section, select WhatsApp, and click on the create campaign button. And then name your campaign. So I'll just name it Tennis Coaching. All right, that's it. And then click start. After that, we have here three steps on how to create WhatsApp campaign. So first, we have the from. In this from section, you can choose which WhatsApp business account you will use. There, you can also find instructions on how to link WhatsApp business account to Brevo. And then in the two, you select the list that you want to send your campaign. So click edit, for example. So I'll just select uh, the beginners list, the same as my SMS. And then in the message content, here we can start creating our WhatsApp campaign proper, okay? So we have here two options to use template or start from scratch. However, um, if you are still a beginner in creating your WhatsApp campaign, so this is your first time WhatsApp campaign, this option, use template, is not yet available on your end. So um, I have here two different templates because I've already created WhatsApp campaign before. So since it's your first time, just select start from scratch. Okay, and then click start creating. So now we are here directed to uh, put template name. So I just name it, let's uh, say tennis special. And then template type is we have marketing and utility. 
So what is marketing for? Marketing is used for promotional communication and then utilities for informational messages. Okay, so um, I'll select marketing, all right? And then uh, template language, okay? So let's use English US, okay? So uh, we have here also an option to log in with Facebook to use this template in a campaign, but I'll just leave it as is. So now let's click start. So this is what looks like now. We have a preview of like the same as the WhatsApp in mobile version. So we have here the header, the body, and the buttons. So let's enable this header because this is very useful in our campaign. So we have here the text and the media. So if you want to utilize this one, just put the header text here. So for example, let's say, hey, and then... Uh, what I like about this one is we can add personalization. Just click this person icon here and then let's select the attribute that we want to add. Let's say, for example, the first name. Okay, and then if the value is empty, let's just say here, friend. All right, and then click save. So in media part, you can drag and drop here um, photos. Okay, but I'll just leave it as is. You can just explore it yourself. So, hey. Now, in the body part, here you can type or create your message that you want to send to your contacts. Okay, so in my case, I have a pre-made message already. So, I'll just paste it here. So, we're kicking off the new tennis season at our club. Sign up now for lessons and improve your game, etc. So, I have here, your first lesson is free. For more info, check the below link. So later, I will add the link. So let me just go through you here. So you also have here a personalization that you can add. Like for example, this header that we did before. We can add the first name, last name. And we also have here the strike through that you can uh, play with. And we also have your emoji. So you can just select any emojis here that you want to add to your message. And we also have your bold or italic. As what I've mentioned earlier that I will add the link because we have instructed here for more info, check the below link. So just enable the buttons. And then we have here quick reply buttons and call to action buttons. So just click that call to action and then click add button. So we have here a type of action. So we have call number or link. So let's select link and then let's place the URL here that we want to direct to our contact. In the button text, just type the text that you want to appear on the button. So I'll just type here, click here. All right, so this is what looks like now. So this is the message that your contact will see. Okay, and then when they click this button click here they will be directed to the link that you previously entered now let's say you're good with this already so all you have to do is to click save all right and this is submit for approval so we cannot click it yet again because whatsapp business account is not yet connected by brevo but if you have already connected yours so you can just submit it for approval so that's basically it for whatsapp campaign guys if you'd like to learn more about how to take advantage of Brevo, you can check out our free guide, Email Marketing with Brevo. In this guide, we'll show you how to implement the best practices of email marketing using Brevo. We will demonstrate how to encourage people to sign up for your email list with effective sign-up forms, how to write and design emails, and examples of email automation you can use. The link to the free guide is placed in the description of this video.